Hello, this is Danielle with All That Sparkle, and today we are going to go over a, another purchase I bought, um, but this time it was from CCDIY, and I have heard great things about their resin and all of their products, so I went ahead and made a purchase from them. Um, they do a lot of different crafting mediums. So today we are going to talk about the resin aspect of it. I don't have all of their resin products, but I do have a pretty good assortment and I kind of wanted to go over them. I have used two of the products out of this and that's where I decided, oh my gosh, I love everything so far. I need to talk about it. So I'm going to go over the things that I have already tried and um, discuss what it is that I love about them and what I'm excited for on the new products that I haven't tried yet. I've got the box right over here. You can see the flap and the light here. Oh, speaking of light, I don't have my light turned on. Hang on. Give me a second. There we go. Let there be light. So, one of the things that I have already tried is the Fast Set Epoxy. And this stuff is incredible how you're not focused. Why are you not focused? Can we focus? Thanks. Um, it's incredible how quick it is. So, normal epoxy, at least the stuff I use, needs at least 12 hours to not be tacky anymore. And 24 hours before it is set and then three days before it is food safe um meaning you can actually use the cup okay again i use the epoxy to make these cups this is my giraffe one she made a cameo in the last video but this fast set the downfall to this fast set i have found is that it has an odor even after it has been um fully cured. So that is a downside. However, when you've got a cup like this one that I'm just about to start, it's fully prepped and it doesn't matter that this is going to go down and have that be a quicker epoxy setting time for the first layer of glitter. And um, that makes it so you can get on to the next step faster. So that's what I like about this fast set. Yes, the downside is the smell, but the upside is you can get to the next step faster, which is, you know, um, your top coat epoxy. Also, this does not have any UV inhibitors in it. So that makes it, so it will yellow. All epoxy yellows eventually with time. But the UV inhibitors protect the, U, uh, the resin from having a yellowing effect too quickly. So that is the product that made me buy more from CCDIY. Um, then the thing that I have seen great things about is the quick coat. This is so you can seal your glitters down in between colors. So when you've got a cup like this one here, which we saw her earlier too, uh, each one of these, I don't want the, the black to be in the light brown and I don't want the dark to be in the light brown. Same as I don't want the black to migrate into, you want your colors to stay put. So this quick coat here is a great product for in-between colors of glitter to make sure they don't go anywhere. They stay put. So that's why. So those are the two products that I tried, fell in love with. Oh, this right here too. I have used this like probably, oh gosh, God. It's, ooh. probably 10 times. And there's still a lot in there. Like it's a milky color. When it dries, it's clear. Okay, absolutely clear. So. Um, I've used it on this cup right here, so that's how you know it's clear. Okay. Now, the things that I am excited for that I just... So that was my first purchase. This is my second one here. And I noticed that they had all these really cute things that Glitter Chimp, which is who I use exclusively for my glitters... But Glitter Chimp doesn't carry anything like these. So I don't feel like I'm quote unquote cheating on my brand um, because Glitter Chimp doesn't have these things. This one is little pearls and I want their different colors. There's a light blue, a light pink, and then white. Um, 
I really want to do a, like a mermaid cup with this. Um, yeah, because I think that would be really pretty. And then we have little sprinkles, multicolored sprinkles. I want to do like a ice cream sundae cup with that. And then because pastels, sprinkles. Um, I think hearts would be super cute also. And then just another variation of, and these have like a rubberized texture to them. I don't see the one that I have opened that I felt them, but it must be this one, right? No, it's not. Okay. Anyways, moving on. Um, I bought these because they were on sale. All right. So these next ones that you see are because they were on sale because it's no longer that season for them. Right? So we have Mary Mistletoe, which those are little peppermint wheels. Come on. How cute is that? Right? Okay. And then this one has little gingerbread men in there. Come on, focus, honey. There we go. Got it. Little gingerbread men. How cute is that? Yes. Okay. So long story. Um, maybe someday you'll see it, but I have a penguin tattoo on the top of my foot and these penguins are just the cutest. Okay. Just uh, the cutest little penguins ever. And uh, yes. So then there's also little conversation hearts. How adorable, right? Okay, yep, that's all. These ones right here were the ones that were on sale. All right, and that's why I got them. Obviously, they're for a different season than we're in right now. We Thank goodness spring is here. I can look out my window and I can see the lilac bush with its buds on it. But I also ordered these little jelly beans for toppers on a cup. Oh my gosh, right? How cute is that? Because who doesn't love jelly beans when they're the right brand? And just so you know, the right brand is Starburst Jelly Beans. Okay, now that we've had that discussion, moving on. And then I love doing dragon cups. They are just, to me, very mystical, and I just love them, right? So these are called dragon eggs. And I hope it shows, and it is showing up, thank goodness. So these little um, stones have like an iridescence on them. And these ones are just they're rounded and smooth so I can't wait to use these as a little texture additive to the cups so that is what I ordered that um, isn't necessarily resin all right but we're gonna move into um, another product here so I've just gotten into doing uh, like resin pouring, so casting items. And I want to do a thinner casting and then decorate it and then do another layer of epoxy. And this product here is how I'm going to get the two epoxies to absolutely bond without having to um, sand down the epoxy. Because, yeah, anyways, this will be a good item to, and it says here promotes adhesion between smooth surfaces and has the ability to bridge over contaminants so that's what I'm saying is if I have a layer of resin and then let's just say I want to put um, cheetah print down and then pour another layer I want there to be an a uh, but it also says do not use on porous surfaces such as stone concrete glitter see so I have to check and see how this is going to react on vinyl because it's not on here so I don't know it has to be first coated with a resin or sealer so I think that's where this would come in this quick coat here but I got that too just to try it out I am pretty happy with the resin that I use um I use right now two different resins besides the CC DIYs. And I just wanted to see what their artist resin was all about. Um, so I bought this just to try it. And it says that it will produce a crystal clear glass-like finish that enhances and protects your work. It cures to the touch in 24 hours. Um, and these bottles here will cover approximately two square feet. Okay, well, cups aren't that big. So I'm, I'm imagining I'm gonna get quite a bit of 
use out of this. And it says no VOCs. And that's important because that means that it's food safe. Okay, that is super important if you are going to be making cups yourself that you get a no VOC brand of epoxy. All right. So like I said, I'm getting into doing casting and part of casting is getting casting resin. And I have here the hard cast casting resin. And I read on this for, um, you don't want your resin to be too moldy, like bendable, but you don't want it to be too brittle. So up just an example is I have this and during the time that it was still bendable, I made it a curve. Can you see that curve there, right? So it'll fit onto, we'll just pretend this is a cup, right? It'll sit onto a cup flat. So when I make a dragon cup, I can use this and now it's a 3D dragon cup. Yeah, if I can make a video on how I did this, if anyone wants to see that. But this is for when you don't want it to move. You don't want it to be flexible. So it would probably be really good when I go to make my dominoes, right? I don't want my dominoes to be flexible, but I want them to be not brittle too. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this works. Also, I got the um, casting resin. So this one, when I read it, said that if it's not poured deep enough probably get myself in screen here. If it's not poured deep enough, that it can still be kind of bendy. All right. And a lot of my molds, I wouldn't consider to be deep. This one right here that I'm going to do today, it's a cell phone holder. Okay. I don't expect that this is a very deep. This is not very deep. Okay. So I, if I use this one here, this casting resin, um, I would expect it to still be moldy, you know, like bendy. And for a cell phone holder, you don't want that to be bendy, right? You want, I got to use tape. Uh, oh, and I don't let anything go to waste. So like my little bits from my vinyl, it's still sticky. It's just like tape, right? It'll still get that glitter off of there if you haven't used it up, right? I reuse everything because I'm trying to not to keep my cost of things down and spend my money where it needs to be spent, not on... Oh, well, that's your own fault. You didn't use mold release and now your stuff is stuck kind of thing. So reusing your vinyl, um, the holographic is still sticky too, but I'm, you know, I just got it sticking everywhere so that when I've got glitter, cause it gets everywhere, I can clean it up. Also, I recommend getting yourself a chip brush to clean up your area. I have one that's designated for light glitters and one that's designated for dark glitters. So this is my light glitter one. And this is my dark glitter one because, just because, yeah. Oh, and I also have a red one also because red, to me, red glitter is the devil. It gets everywhere. I could use it and then three weeks later, all of a sudden I got red glitter. Where did that come from? I don't know, but apparently I need to be punished with more red glitter. So this is my um, CC DIY and I'm so excited for this company because um, it's a small business and I definitely want to support small businesses because I'm a small business also. Um, if you have any comments, any questions, if you have any ideas on videos you want to see me do, go ahead and comment below. I would love to see comments. Like, subscribe. I'm still a new channel and this is my third video. And every time I push record, I'm super, super nervous. So, um, thank you so much for watching and until next time. Bye.